In this video, we will talk about how to convert cubic feet to cubic meters. So let's check out an example. Let's say we want to convert 70 cubic feet to cubic meters. How can we do that? Well, when we're converting cubic feet to cubic meters, the first step is we want to convert the cubic feet to cubic inches. So the way that we do that is we can say 70 cubic feet times, we know that there are 12 inches in a foot. So we can say 12 inches per one foot. And remember, we're talking about cubed, so we're going to cube this entire expression. Now, we can also write the 70 feet over 1, just to make it a little more obvious that we're multiplying fractions here. Now, once we have our answer in cubic inches, we then want to convert that to cubic centimeters. So we would multiply by, there are 2.54 centimeters per 1 inch. So we can write 2.54 centimeters for every 1 inch. And again, we're talking about cubed. Now the last step is we want to convert these cubic centimeters to cubic meters. So there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So what we can say is we can multiply this by, for every one meter, we have 100 centimeters. And again, this will be cubed. Now for these three expressions, where we have them raised to the power of three, what we can do is distribute that three into both the numerator and the denominator. So this would become 12 inches cubed, this would be 1 foot cubed, this would be 2.54 centimeters cubed, this would be 1 inch cubed, and then we have 1 meter cubed and 100 centimeters cubed. Now when we multiply all these values out, what we'll notice is that all of the units will cancel out except for the meters. So this feet cubed and the numerator of this expression will cancel out with the feet cubed and the denominator of this expression, and then this inches cubed will cancel out with this inches cubed, these centimeters cubed will cancel out with these centimeters cubed, and we're just going to be left with meters cubed, which is what we wanted. We can simplify our expression a little bit. Here we have 70 over 1, so that's just 70 times, here we'll have 12 cubed, and then here we'll have 2.54 cubed, and then lastly we'll have 1 cubed, which is just 1, divided by 100 cubed. So we'll have times 1 over 100 cubed. Now when we're multiplying by a fraction like that, this is the same as dividing by 100 cubed over 1. So for this last expression, we can just write divided by 100 cubed. So let's go ahead and write that, divided by 100 cubed. So if you punch this all into a calculator, 70 times 12 to the third power times 2.54 to the third power divided by 100 to the third power, you get about 1.98. And remember, our units will be meters cubed. So what that means is 70 cubic feet is equal to 1.98 cubic meters. Now, one shortcut that you could use is recognizing that this whole expression, this is what you're actually doing to the cubic feet to convert it to cubic meters. And it turns out that this whole expression is equal to about 0 0.0283168. So if you have cubic feet, a certain number of cubic feet, you're just multiplying it by this number to get your cubic meters. Or another way to say that is you could divide by the reciprocal of this number. Now the reciprocal of this would just be 1 divided by 0 0.0283168. And that turns out to be roughly 35.135. So let's write that. So if you'd like, one rule that you can remember is to convert cubic feet to cubic meters, just divide by 35.315. So for example, in this one, you would find that to convert 70 cubic feet to cubic meters, if you just did 70 divided by 35.315, you would end up with about 1.98, which is the exact answer that we got here by multiplying all of these values out.